Jackson, nice hands. Drives and scores. Hey Cardinal Nation, it's Eleanor and welcome to the Red Zone. This week, our Cardinal Nation is Nordic Ski. They will be skiing this afternoon at Elm Creek, so make sure to be there. The competition starts at 3.30. CRHS is looking for writers to kick off the start to the start to this year's magazine. We want to include all styles and genres of writing, from fiction to poetry to journalism. We are looking for artists and photographers to be involved as well. We meet on Tuesday and Friday mornings in room 238. Contact Miss Berg in room 238 or Miss Stephenson in room 211 for more information. Do you like to argue, act, or read dramatically? If so, you should come check out the Coon Rapids speech team. We'll have a brief information meeting after school in room 239 on Thursday, December 15th. On Monday, December 19th, in the cafeteria, you can play bingo during the late start. There will be prizes for the winners. The Coon Rapids wrestling team still needs athletes from 145 pounds and below. No experience is required, and you can get daily high fives from Mr. Tronson. Stop by room 331 or in the field house with any questions. The Tennis Booster Club is hosting a pickleball club. We meet Monday nights from 7 to 8.30 in the field house. Everyone is welcome and you do not need prior experience. We also have paddles and balls available to use. If you have any questions, see Mr. Stork in room 122 and we hope to see you there. We would like to invite you to consider being a part of the 2022-23 Multicultural Show that will take place on February 15th. Past performances have included singing, dancing, reciting poetry, or spoken word pieces. However, we welcome new creative ideas about how you may share an aspect of your culture. There is also a fashion show portion of the show in which you can share and show off cultural attire. If you are interested, connect with Renee Snow or Rumble Sets in room 180B and 183B. Welcome to the Career and College Corner. On Tuesday, December 20th, the Lake Superior College will be visiting during all lunches. Make sure to check out the CRHS College and Career website. There are a lot of students asking about college, military trades, and workforce. If you are wondering about any of these, check out the website. There are a lot of instructions on how to send requests to transcripts, letters of recommendations, write essays, scholarship opportunities, resumes, and more. Go to the CRHS homepage, hover over support, and click on Career Center if you have any more questions. If you have any more questions, talk to Chewy in the Career Center. Today's lunch is walking tacos. Thank you for watching The Red Zone. My name is Eleanor, and remember, it's a great day to be a Cardinal. Are you tired of riding your bike to school? Hey, you, hey, you, slow down, slow down, stop, stop, stop. Do you want to get your license like this guy? If that's you, then come on down to room 118 to see Mr. Grimes. That's me. Sign up for after school driver education classes. He taught me. That's true. If you're grappling with what to watch, go no further. Coach Donaldson always watches the show, so rally around your TV and celebrate. Your life is much more balanced when you pin your hopes on us. Sports Night is next. 
Swimming and diving team started its season over the weekend with the Northwest Suburban Conference relays. Uh, it's a kind of a non-scored event, but they did score, finish in third place yep. uh, when you look at it. But it's a bunch of non-traditional events. They have uh, different relay events that, that you don't normally see. Kind of a fun uh, event, but it gives them a good chance to see what they've got. And uh, Coach Donaldson's email today, he was uh, very excited with very how optimistic. They did. Yeah, very optimistic. Real excited about uh, about what uh, what went transpired during that. Well, the Cardinals dive into their dual meet schedule on Thursday when they travel to take on Spring Lake Park. This year's squad is a little small, but their opponents will be wise not to judge them by their size. They have some skill, they have some experience, but most importantly, they've got heart. It feels great. It feels good to just be back in the water. The Cardinals are small in numbers, but they've got a solid returning core that's committed to working hard and pushing to the finish. So far, it's been very positive, just uplifting. That's something we've always prided ourselves on, is just positive attitude, keeping things moving forward. And it's just, it's definitely helped. I've seen a lot of improvements already. The Cardinals have experience and skill throughout the lineup, and many of the veterans they will rely on this year are already exceeding expectations. But this group of guys, a lot of them come back faster than they were even at the end of the last season. Um, they're doing some amazing things already in, in the water. The Cardinals know it'll take more than their top guys if they hope to achieve their goals. The veterans like the work ethic they're seeing early on, and they believe it can help them overcome what has been one of their biggest obstacles. Consistency's always been a big issue. We've had people that'll win, but then it's third, second through fourth is the other team. And so I think kind of building up a strong group of guys that can score well and the Cardinals know that they'll see some great competition all season long but they guarantee they won't be overlooked because they won't be outworked they're committed to being at their best at the end and making people take notice there's a lot of people that are are have big big goals this year big dreams and uh, I think we're gonna do it well we're gonna do everything we can to get there and I think we will get there